Ah, nice. The first thing I always do is look at the health and then the character levels just to know how high up that they can actually have talents and all of the uh, orbs and stuff. You can't see the player level anymore in challenges, so that's quite annoying. If you can get snide or any shards for snide, that would definitely be a very good one for you by the way that things are working out. Do you have any for Lord Zed at all? What all assists do you have? Okay. Back at it. Aka, back to action! Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Stormrunner, are you still watching? I can think of a few people they need to nerf. Like the fact that Magna Defender has no hang time. At all. <laughs> and that's done. Wow. He caused me almost three seconds of input lag. I'm to try and get him back. Well, the uh, the one thing is, they did have a deal whenever you first start the game in the store after you get to 100 medals that um, you could buy Tommy for four ninety nine, and a lot of people did that, and that's why there are so many Tommies right now. That's not what I hit. That's not what I hit. <laughs> oh, so cringy. That voice. No. Them adding more cosmetic things and layers of graphics and stuff is making this game even more horrid. For lag and input lag and load times and everything else. What's up, Jason? Three, two, Word, man. We still good for Marvel Infinite?
rip. <laughs> Got him. How you been, my friend? This is my second stream. Can you believe it? I'm a streamer. <laughs> Okay, if you have Xandrid, you can probably make use of him as an assist with uh, Cat, where she has a good high XP and health. And then you could also use um, MMPR Kim. And that would give you a really good balance team. Seriously? Wow. Gotcha. Alright. Rip. Sure. Yeah, if you want to try that team out. Also, any team that has a stun it's worth the risk like um, I would definitely try and use for what you have um, you could try and use Xandrid along with Alpha and then um, try movie Zack that may give you a quicker um, damage flow for what you've got and it also gives your main leader a uh, defensive attack with the counter. It just takes a, a, a whole lot of um, energy management on your power bar. You been busy this week, Jason? Dev Montana. Rip. Have some. Ooh, no block. Gotcha. Uh, Zane is definitely a, uh, contender whenever he's got some level stuff popped into him for roleplay. Out of what you have, are you a keep away type character or are you more a um, like in your face type character for how you play? Because where you started two to three days ago, oh, the main thing a lot of people don't want is someone right up in their face. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that. Okay, um, do you know how to detect the color of what attack is coming at you encounter? Because it doesn't always with the new update to 1.46. It's not really present anymore whenever the attack is there unless you actually counter it 
like they made the symbol over the head smaller of the strike, the breaker, and the defensive. So it's harder to tell what they're actually doing unless you're countering it. Then your character turns the color of what move you did that counters theirs. So it's a rock, paper, scissors style where that if a breaker counters a defense, a strike counters a breaker, and a defense counters a strike. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's what the different colors of the things actually mean. So if they're doing a move that does not have any red around it, it's a strike. Unless if they defend or if they block, that's a blue. So that would be able to be countered by a red, which is a breaker. Yeah, I really think they should redo their tutorial mode for training where that it actually implements that stuff and not just oh this is how you move this is how you use a card this is how you do multiple cards for a combo it makes no sense I mean that's like basic of basic that should have been done on before you even start the match of your first trial so yeah it's a little bit different and I really wish that it was active combat and not the whole thing that, oh, well, I have to wait on this meter to fill up and got to run around like everything. These people who are most of the YouTubers for this game, they run around dashing all over the place constantly to try and, you know, psych you out. Like they're going to attack and you're not going to be able to tell when they're going to attack. But they can't block at the same time as they're moving around. Tell me about it. I mean, the best thing you can do is once you get 10 shards of any character, don't touch it again and then just let the trial or the... Um, let the Mighty Morph free rewards box take care of its own but if you've not put any money into the game then you'll have a thing you can watch videos every two hours and get free crystals from it I don't know if they took that away or enhanced that whenever the 1.45 update came out but that's the way it used to work Yeah. You'll still get shards, however it randomly assigns you shards. What's up, viewer? I'm offering some tips and basics for the game to a new player. Do you play this game? But yeah, what I did originally is, so once I got enough shards for a character, I didn't touch it anymore. But whenever I was buying content for the game, this is what I would buy. These right here. Because I was buying $100 box bundles and just buying these. And I got better deals out of these at the time than I did out of this stuff which they still haven't added anything in for. So, do you have any uh, recommendations of, like, what you have for a team or anything? No, that you would like to uh, 